Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to Nellis Animal Room. I am Nell, of course, and welcome back to another video. And this will be uh, a water change day plus cleaning out the filter in my 120 liter uh, community fish tank. Here it is, as you guys seen before, and I just put the media for it. This is actually just what I was waiting for. This is uh, some poly pads because these panties are, st are st like still good. Um, they just need to uh, clean out but the poly pads these are used to basically keep your water clear and you will go through them quite a bit so i bought these there is 52 and i paid paid uh, about, i don't know, i think it was six pounds so good deal um but yeah guys so going to get my bucket and stuff like that already and uh yeah we're gonna roll with the video so first of all, what I'm going to do is siphon the water out and clean out the sand. So you guys, what you guys will see me do first of all, before I even start taking any water out, is I will dunk this fish net in and just move the sand about for two reasons. Main reason is to let out any little uh, gas bubbles that are not visible. If you guys have a sand substrate, then you probably know but fish waste and stuff like that uh, they are it, actually what can happen is underneath your sand uh, be, it's like basically like a gas bub uh, bub bubble um, and it, if that gas bubble um, releases its gases basically your fish tank will have a big massive fart and it will not be safe for your fish so every time that you do a, a water change you don't need to dunk you, you know flip the sand about but just move the sand about the whole surface and um, so as i said what i'll do is i will dunk this fish net in and i will literally just scrub this the surface of the sand to get it moving and to if there is any gas gas bubbles to you know uh re like get them out pretty much and uh, the second reason is if there is any uh like fish waste or food sitting on, on the top of the sand if you guys know it's hard to to siphon sand because we have uh, gravel you can just you know put the, the siphon in right through the gravel and that will suck up all of the waste and f uh, uneaten fish food um but if you do with sand, you will just end up sucking up all of your sand. Um, so yeah, don't do that. So you, what you want to do is just lightly go over the sand with your siphon. And uh, but the best thing what I found that works for me is I will get a fish net, stir the sand about, uh, so I avoid uh, any possibilities of any gas bubbles uh, that could be hiding underneath the sand um, and get them out before they become unsafe for the fish um, but if you guys do move your sand about every water change there is a small possibility that you will have any gas bubbles but if you don't do it i highly recommend that you do it because you don't want your tank to have a massive fart and then possibly you know end up losing your fish which is not a good thing so always please 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 make sure that we have a sand substrate move the sand about with every water change and that will also help to get any food or uh, fish waste up so you can siphon it out and um, so yeah let's go on with the water change whoa So as you can see, um, I am doing only a small water change since I am cleaning the filter at the same time and even though I have two filters running and I am only cleaning one of them so this cycle, there is no possibility for it to sh like uh, crash but I don't want to do two 
I don't want to do like a, a usual water change and uh, a filter clean at the same time. So that's why I'm just doing about 5% of a water change. And then in about three days, I will do uh, my usual water change will be around 20%. And um, so I'm just going to get the filter media out and then I'm going to clean out and replace it. So this will be after, I think it's, it's coming up on three months since it's, since this tank has been set up. I can't talk guys, I am a little bit tired. Um, so just bear with me. Um, but yeah, it's been about three months since this, this tank has been set up. So I'm quite interested to see how it's looking. Um, and yeah, as you guys seen in the timelapse, why that first of all was, I went in with the fish net and I moved the sand about and then I emptied out some of the water and I went in and I moved the sand about with my hand. I You don't have to do it those two ways, but I do it those two ways because I like to move the sand about as well um, because they tend to kick it like uh, to like one spot and it's all built up and then for example, all of the sand from here, from like this like area, most of it could be over here, and then this bit would look a bit bare. I am going to get more sand, but yeah, please make sure to move your sand about with every water change. Um, but uh, yeah. All right, guys. So I got the top layer out. As you can see, it's pretty disgusting. I said those poly parts they are never any good, so that's why I bought a replacement. But the sponges, they just need a, a clean. Just a rinse out, but I'm going to just remove those poly sponges because they are absolutely disgusting. And of course, guys, if when you are cleaning your filters, make sure that you use uh, your the water from your fish tank and not sink water because you don't want to lose all of that beneficial bacteria that you have built up in your filter. Um. So, but really other than that, it's not looking too bad. So the filter does a pretty good job. And this is like, a, this isn't even the like dual media. This is just like, a, just some cheap stuff, but it does the job good. So you, this is show you guys that you don't need to spend a lot of money. But before I clean that out fully, let's take out the second portion which I feel like it's going to be even worse. Ah, oh, I can already feel it, Jesus. I don't even know where the... Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, okay, so the top bit is a lot worse. Wow, okay, this bit is pretty clean beside the poly parts, obviously. But I thought that... Okay, that's interesting. But the bone is a lot cleaner. Oh, wait. I know how this filter works now. Right, okay. That's interesting. All right, so I'm going to clean that off fully off camera. But what happens is that the water gets pumped through the bone and then it goes down, down, and that's how it gets filtered. So that's why the top is a lot dirtier. But yeah, let me clean them out and I'll be back. No, it's not like perfect, but I got all of the dirt out that I could. So you see, I like loaded up on the polys. I already put the first cartridge in. That's me just putting in the second one currently. Just the same process really for both of them. Just the same way. Just a little bit tight uh, to fill it in, but it goes in. Like so, and also while you guys are doing your water change, it's also a good idea to take out your power head and clean out the um, impeller um, the little bit that spins and basically makes the water move yeah, clean that out um, as if that's if that gets too dirty and clogged up then you might have an issue so yeah I'm going to uh, basically just dump this this water out finish off this uh, water change and uh, yeah I'll catch you guys at the end of the video Alright guys, so that's all done, uh, water, water changes finished, um, filter cleaned, 
Uh, my dispatch of the light, so the water can settle as I set up a bit more of the sun and it says some stuff floating down and we go out of the water change. But as I said, I'll be doing uh, like a f like my regal water change in about two to three days after this uh, filter kind of gets back up and running. And uh, just to be safe, you know. And uh, I, I said I loaded up on the, on the poly, so I have four more of these left. I don't know how many they are in a, in a stack, but this is maybe last me under two water changes. I know I kind of overloaded. Excuse me, I know I kind of overloaded, but um, yeah. So, water change done. And as I said before, guys, uh, having a sand substrate is a little bit more work to like clean but it's worth it because it has a nice natural look and um, so yeah as, as i said guys if you are going to get sand as your substrate please make sure to uh, move it about with your hand or a fishnet every single water change so there is no gas bubbles that can build up um, and also i will get all of the like and eating fish food and fish waste up floating so you can get it out with your siphon easier and you don't have to really mess about with trying to siphon out your sand um, but guys hopefully you did enjoy every day please just leave a like subscribe comment uh, follow me on twitter and instagram links in the description below as always and yeah uh, it's been Nelly of Nelly's Animal Room and I'll see you all in the next one can I like I, I honestly guys just please I hope you bear with me in this video but my commentary has been off um but yeah, anyway, that's beside the point. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.